unfortunate that we come here every election year to sit down and talk get into the elections we come back to this boko issue every now and then it tells me straight away that there are some um, political influences or political connotations attached to it it's unfortunate um i know that uh, our good friend who just spoke is a security expert and he doesn't expect that once the president has sat in such a security meeting mm. you bring out all the details of what they have discussed and the things that he's going to do over there such things you keep it to your chest and you work underground to make sure that the conflict or the fight or whatever is happening there will reduce and uh, also make sure that the at least the curfew is imposed where you have daylight because you don't need um, 24 hours where you someone will say that they'll give you light morning afternoon evening to go down and look at those who are committing the crime in the evening there's a lot of crime going on yeah. especially in the dark mm. when you don't see things so you need to at least put in some curfew where there is dark and make sure that your security apparatus are moving or um, going around to make sure that people don't go out and cause havoc so at this point in time we need to just bring the peace that we need over there that's the first point of call the first thing to do is to call in this curfew and then your other strategies you are putting in place you don't you don't bring it out gradually you wait of all those you can get all those uh, kingpins who are causing the problems bring them down talk to them do other things that would at least bring that peace but when you look around boko it comes back to the fact that you have almost about i think six if six or seven if i'm, I'm not mistaken ndc constituencies surrounded it and it tells you that you mean you pussy know, guard as a bit yes, all so. those people all those uh, ndc enclaves that they surrounded boko and they feel that they shouldn't lose boko so rain or shine election year let's push something oh you where, think that's oh, yes. the i mean you really see between them oh, are you, you saying that read? because they are ndc enclave they should rather have uh, <coughs> a, a grip on the constituents what in their if, various if I'm surrounded by all these uh, less than mm. if MPP if that's my you are saying if MPP has surrounded that place the best they will do is to make sure that they have peace in Boko but when you have all these enclaves surrounded around you and you make sure that this place I don't want to lose rain or shine every study and see every four years that is where you get all these spells coming out every four years why what are we doing to ourselves and last four years i remember i came to sit here and we pleaded with them that is a, it is about your lives your children your future that place is like every time you don't want development to go on there people will fool what they whatever they want to do sit somewhere and fool everything and then we'll always have to pump money there to make sure that we bring peace because whatever confusion is going on there can move out into the other constituencies and the other and uh, this thing towns and less than over there and it's, it's not going to help us as a nation we need to develop that place we need to develop everywhere they need to get their share of the national cake but it keeps on coming on every four years and it's not helping us please let us let us let us put all this aside and let us look at the nation as a whole we shouldn't be seen as nation records we should be seen as nation builders where we come together and work for the good of this country and that is where I get hurt that every time, every time we'll come and sit down, we'll talk about it, and then we sit down and say that this thing, and oh, what is going on? Oh, the, um, this thing, the government should do this, the government should do that. When we surrounded ourselves with Boko Central, Zebila, Garu, Tem um, Tempani, and Pusiga, and uh, it's only Penduri that MPP holds. So you ask yourself, why? Can't even. Even if you are the opposition, can't you sit there and come together and say that, listen, for the peace of our people over there, let us protect them. Let us make sure that there is peace there. Maybe we need to call on Asantini again to come and help in this situation because I believe that the last time when we came to power, the last time we called him, he was able to bring a lasting solution to some mm. of the conflicts that happened within the Northern Enclave. And maybe he, he will be the best to help this okay. time this time round. So I just have to plead with my brothers and sisters over there. It's about you. Don't let anyone come sit back and influence you. And by the time you realize you'll be killing yourselves, you'll be hurting yourselves, and you won't get the development that you need to get in that area. That's the only thing I can say for now. Mm. 